Hi everyone, welcome back to the second session. Um, today we are going to analyze um, something, what a risky market is and what are the different types of risks that are associated with the market. And then we'll try to uh, leverage this risk for our uh, uh, profits. So that is what would be your agent, uh, agenda for today's talk. Um, we'll start with uh, revising what exactly have we done uh, in the previous class. And then we'll quickly revise it in two minutes and then we'll move on to the uh, today's topic. Uh, everyone, uh, can you please un uh, unmute your phone? Let's let's quickly revise. I want you guys to participate. Okay, so what was the stock market and what is a stock? Anyone? Stock market is a place where we can buy or sell the Okay, and what's the stock? Uh, it's a sh uh, company sharing, so which uh, is available to public to buy or sell. Right. So basically, yahan pe jo thela hai, that's a stock market, or jahan pe sabjiyon ki jagah pe stocks mil rahe. Okay. Makes sense. What is bull bear and uh, bunny market? Ayush. Uh, bull market is when prices are getting higher. Mm -hmm. Bear market is when everyone is in the selling position. Mm -hmm. And bunny market is uh, when the movement is uh, sideways. Uh, when the market is sometimes bullish and sometimes bearish. Perfect. Okay. Uh, what is long and short, Alina? Uh, Long is for a uh, long term investment, short is for short term investment. I'm not uh, that is to... correct, that is, uh, but that is long and uh, short term positions. Long okay. means to buy something, short means to sell something. Okay, so that's long and short. Aisha, what is com company dynamics? What are the different factors that are associated with company dynamics? Um, so different things like politics, um, current affairs, news, mm -hmm. uh, market capitalization. All those uh, are coming. Okay. okay. Um, any good time to invest? What is the good time to invest in the market? I think during recession is a good time to invest in the market. No, always. Uh, uh, any time is a good time to invest in market. You should know which stock to uh, which stock to choose when. Uh, I think there is a lot of background noises. Somewhere. Mumtaz, from Mumtaz. Yeah, Mumtaz. Mumtaz, can you? Uh, can you? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, so all times in market is a good time to uh, invest. It's just that you need to know which stock to invest in, and uh, you know whether to um, which stock to invest in, and for how much time to invest in. All okay. right. Um, so let's, uh, you know, see what are the different types of risk that are associated with the market. So broadly classifying, not digging very deep into it. There are basically two types of risks which are associated with the market. One is your systematic risk and the second one is uh, uh, unsystematic risk. So what is systematic and unsystematic risk? Any risk, uh, you know, let's first understand systematic risk. Any risk which is inherited by the whole market is known as a systematic risk. For example, any crash that happens in a market or any, uh, if the whole market is running up, if the whole, all the stocks are running up, for example, in 2021, there was a bull run, which was happening. Even post COVID, there was a bull run that happened in the market. So every stock, whichever stock that you uh, choose majorly was moving up. So this kind of, uh, this kind of, uh, or if the whole market is going down, then this kind of uh, risk associated with this kind of market is known as systematic market, no, systematic risk. Uh, this term is also known as, you'll also uh, define it as volatility, that the market is very volatile, or it's, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of market risk involved right now with the market. So I'll give you an example. Uh, first, let's uh, understand, analyze what are the factors which actually... Uh, you know, contribute towards these systematic risks. So they will be macroeconomical factors. What are macroeconomical factors? The factors uh, from which the whole country gets affected. 
So, for example, COVID, for example, recession, for example, inflation, and or some war which is happening, for example, Russia-Ukraine war, something like that. The whole country or the whole world, rather to say, the whole world is getting uh, uh, affected because of uh, you know uh, the macroeconomics. So, uh, in that case, since the whole world or the whole country is getting affected, the market would be in a systematic risk uh, uh, environment. So, the risk that would be associated with this particular uh, market would be a systematic risk. Uh, it would be a systematically risky market. Uh, so, this uh, actually, these types of markets are highly unpredictable and unavoidable because even a small news or a small sentiment could hurt the market really bad. And it could be that a very big news which comes up but will not disrupt the uh, entire market uh, itself. So it's highly unpredictable. It's highly unlikely that one could predict a systematic risk. Um, and generally, systematic, ri systematically risky market could lead to stagflations, uh, recessions, and in some uh, cases, uh, great depressions as well, or uh, depressions as well. So this is what a systematic market, is, a systematic risk is. Now let's try to analyze what an unsystematic risk is. Unsystematic risk is basically a risk which is associated with a particular stock. For example, if I give you an example, um, a, a, a stock or maybe a group of stocks uh, in, in a certain bucket, a group of securities. So, for example, in a certain industry, for example, just steel industry or maybe just the IT sector or just the banking sector, which is getting affected. So, there are a few stocks, once uh, an individual stock or a group of stocks, which are getting affected. Uh, if such kind of condition arises, then that particular stock or that particular se segment would be in an unsystematic uh, risky segment, uh, risky uh, market. Now, what are the causes because of which this could happen? Uh, it could be because there's a new competitor which has arisen in the market. So, for example, uh, there's Zomato and all of a sudden Uber Eats come into play uh, and says that uh, since Uber itself is a very big firm, I'm just giving an example. And now, uh, you know, it gives a lot of discounts, a lot of, uh, you know, people, uh, it gives you 30 minutes delivery, uh, 30 minutes NATO free or something like that. And because of which the market uh, capital or the uh, customer which were acquired by Zomato will now get pulled towards Uber Eats. So this kind of any new market competition that arises could lead to, uh, you know, uh, Zomato stock falling down. Now, will this impact the whole market? Will this be classified as a systematic risk? No, because it's uh, because of Uber Eats, only Zomato would get affected. It's not like uh, it's very unlikely that the whole Nifty will come down because of Uber Eats coming into uh, picture, right? So this uh, type of risk would be an unsystematic uh, kind of risk. Uh, or if there is some product failure, so for example, the Zomato apps is getting uh, app is getting crashed a lot or there's a new bug which needs to be fixed. So people are moving towards some better alternatives such as Swiggy or Uber Eats. Uh, then there are there's new management. So management generally means the C-levels or the directors or the board of directors of the company. They are getting changed. Uh, you know, uh, the uh, or, or there could be that the company is incurring a lot of losses and uh, it's, it's unable to make, uh, generate any profit. So that could be one of the reason any natural disaster that happens or if any, uh, say, because of COVID, um, it's a very good example that the supply chain was broken down. So these kind of risks that are associated with the market are known as unsystematic risk. Unsystematic risks are predictable. They can be predicted up to a certain extent. And you can actually make a guesstimate and a guesswork and, uh, you know, uh, let this unsystematic risk work in your favor to generate profits. How? Let's, uh, you know, we'll understand more in this, uh, in the following slides. So, uh, any doubts still now? Anyone who has any question uh, who didn't understand uh, systematic and unsystematic uh, market risks? People answer. I want the session to be interactive. Maybe systematic is like for large scale and, you know, uh, the cause is that the effect is that it will be affected for all the companies. 
and the other one is uh, unsystematic one is for company particular like the uh, effect will be uh, company company wise correct uh, what do you mean by large scale the whole market would get affected uh, uh, if correct yeah yeah the whole market itself would get uh, affected in case of any systematic risk because uh, say there's a war that is going on uh, then the whole world you know will get disrupted for example russia ukraine war uh, now the uh, us has stopped uh, you know swift transfers to russia so there's a uh, currency stagnation that is currently happening in russia then there's a lot of uh, you know european bans that they have put on russia uh, so that the russia will not uh, you know cannot prolong this war what russia has done in uh, in turn is that it has cut off all its uh, uh, petrol supply lines and all of that so because of this or because of this the whole world is getting impacted right and even if you look at the market uh, i think uh, 24th february was the day when russia ukraine war started the market itself has started correcting not just in india but also in us europe and everywhere in the world so that's how it's uh, uh, that's a systematic risk because of which the market uh, got uh, corrected makes sense that was a systematically risky market and corona also will come in systematic absolutely risk. absolutely because covid uh, when covid hit there was a uh, you know the supply chain got disrupted everything came to an halt because of which the market corrected itself that was also systematic you're absolutely right on spot okay anyone else all right moving forward to the quiz i would love you uh, to i'll give you some examples and tell me whether it's a systematic or an uh, unsystematic kind of a risk all right so uh, what you see here is uh, pc jewelers um, i know uh, everyone must be knowing pc jewelers uh, this particular stock has fallen by around 89% in past 5 years uh, not five, not even 5 years in roughly uh, yeah for 5 years uh, and even if you look at the quarter financials its revenue has uh, so this is just uh, the latest quarter uh, we won't be going to historical quarters we will understand how to uh, look at the historical quarters as well but for now for this example we would be just looking at the uh, you know previous quarter and you'll see that the revenue has decreased by 78% the net income itself has decreased by 390% so what kind of uh, you know stock do you think or what kind of risk category is this particular stock in is it systematic or unsystematic 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 perfect next uh, even if you look at jet airways you'll see the stock, uh, stock has fallen roughly by 81% and if you look at the balance sheet uh, you'll see that most of the things are negative i won't go into much of a detail of uh, everything but what you can look over here is that net profit net, net loss was around 7250 crores for uh, jet airways and you can see the stock plunging uh, about 81% so again systematic or unsystematic people what happened Uh, how are you detecting it's systematic or unsystematic like for the previous answer mm -hmm. you can explain okay uh, what was a systematic uh, type of risky uh, stock or a risky market which affects only a particular stock or a particular group of stock right is this is this financial quarter is this uh, sorry is this financial of march 2022 quarter is it showing uh, is it affecting the whole market like uh, how uh, how can we get to know that like this this is so okay uh, so what a financial uh, statement of a company is um for example uh, if i have a mere paas ek kela hai suppose the theek hai and uh, what i do is i sell fruits each day now i buy fruits from somewhere and then i sell it to people like uh, you guys okay now what happens is 
I buy oranges at the rate of 100 rupees per kg, for example. Now, I roam around the whole city uh, saying that oranges lelo, oranges lelo. But ultimately, I don't have a kilo in the market. Orange. Okay? Now, I have two options. Either I will sell orange, which I have bought 100 kilo, I will sell 20 rupees a kilo, and at least 20 rupees will come to me. Okay? Or I will sell it prolong kar dun, kuch time ke liye, and I say that uh, wo jayega, fir koi bhi lega, and I just dispose it off. Right? Make sense? Yes. Okay. So, what will financial statement? What will happen to my revenue? What will happen to me? I have sold this one kilo of sandra in 20 rupees a kilo. That, brother, at least 20 rupees will come to me. I have bought it in 100 rupees. At least, something is better than nothing, right? I will sell it in 20 rupees a kilo. So, that is my revenue. Making sense? And it is down by 80%, 78%. So, PCJ yeah, dwellers. Like, uh, I get what is revenue, but uh, how are we detecting that it's systematic risk or unsystematic risk? Uh, that's how I explained, right? What is a systematic risk? Systematic risk would be a risk which would be uh, associated, which would affect all of the stocks, which will affect whole stock market in general, would be a systematically risky market. Unsystematic risks would be risk which is associated to a particular stock or to a group of stocks. Right? So, if I buy the Santra for 100 rupees and 20 rupees, then it will only be different from me. Do I have to buy the same thing as I have to buy the same thing? No. No. Therefore, it would be an unsystematic risk. How are we getting to know that this is just a particular stock down or the market down? Because the quarterly financials, the financial result is PCJ Jewelers. So PCJ Jewelers had revenue, it was 78% now. Okay. And the income I think net, that was around 400% now. So who will affect it from that? उसकी रेवेन्यू डाउन हुई है राइट सबकी रेवेन्यू डाउन हुई क्या नहीं हुई ना यहाँ पे सिर्फ पीसीजे ज्वेलर्स की रेवेन्यू डाउन हुई है सो देवरफॉर इट वुड बी एन अनसिस्टेमेटिक अनसिस्टेमेटिक ओके मेरे को वो नहीं पता था कि दूसरे की डाउन नहीं हुई नहीं मतलब वो यहाँ दिखाया नहीं है अगर यहाँ दिखाया जाता कि भाई दूसरों but currently, we are just focusing on PCJ dwellers and its financial uh, financial reserves. Okay? Okay. Yes. Moving on. Uh, Alina, I would like you to answer this. You have Jet Airways again. And then mm -hmm. same financial statement. It's just that you have to remove one from the other side. And you see that the profit loss is in general is around minus 72,000 crores. So, sorry. Minus 7.2 thousand crores. Okay. So is this a systematically risky investment or an unsystematic risky investment? Is it for the other money? No, no. We are just focusing on this particular stock. We are not focusing on the whole uh, market as such. If I invest in this stock, mein invest karna hai, it's not okay. it, it's not that I invest in all the stocks in Nifty. Karna hai. It's just that I want to invest in Jet Airways. And I look at the financial statement of Jet Airways. So now if I invest in this particular stock, Jet Airways, will it be a systematic or an unsystematic uh, kind of an investment? Unsystematic. Unsystematic, right? Okay. Ayush, I want you to answer this or anyone else. You're, well, you're most welcome. Uh, but yeah. is this a systematic or an unsystematic uh, uh, kind of in, an in investment if I try to invest in steel group in general? So uh, let me make uh, the picture killer for you guys. So there's a news, uh, there was a news which said that 
uh, India steel to be uh, exports to be cut by 40 percent. In general, India ki jitte bhi steel export hota hai, usme ham 40 percent cut karne wali. Matlab agar pehle 100 kilo export hota tha, to ab kitna hoga export? Sirf 60 kilo hoga. 40 percent ghar mein rahega. Right? So is it an systematic or unsystematic kind of an uh, risk if I try to invest in this particular segment or sector? Systematic. No, it will still be unsystematic because it is not affecting the whole market. It might be affecting a group of industry, steel industry. But as such, the whole market is not just steel industry, right? It is IT, pharma, steel, metals, alloys, tires, rubber, natural products, FMGC, anything, right? It could be anything. Is it affecting the whole industry? No, it is just affecting a group of industries. So therefore, it would be an unsystematic risk associated. One doubt, is there any, some product which can affect the whole market? Like your voice, your voice is not audible. Hello? There's a lot of there's a lot of Bangalore noise. I wish. I think he was trying to say that uh, this product is uh, like uh, if this goes down, then maybe whole market will get affected. Uh, if I'm not wrong. No, the whole market will not get get affected. Agreed that the uh, that the industries which would be related to steel will go down. For example, cement industry real estate industry, uh, construction industry, these might go down, but as such, the whole market won't go down. It's not that all the IT, pharma industry will go down because steel is going down. That's not the case. It's a very good question. It's a valid point. But again, you have to see if it is, if the whole market is getting, uh, you know, exploited because of the kind of risk that is associated with it. So this uh, this was actually uh, one of the uh, point which I wanted to wanted you guys to understand. Uh, as soon as this news uh, rolled out, although this is twentieth June uh, news, uh, this news was rolled out around six months back, three four months back, and from those past three four months, all the steel uh, companies, JSW Steel, Steel Authority of India, Tata Steel, all of them on an average have, uh, you know, fallen to about 40%, roughly 30-40%. So, as an investor, as soon as this news came, I started uh, shorting the stock and I made a lump sum profit in this. So, even a, uh, even a normal risk, uh, you know, even a very uh, tiny bit of uh, knowledge in the market can give you a return of around, uh, so I made around 10-15%, not more than that can give you a uh, you know 10-15% profit in just a matter of months just a matter of three four months that's it so uh, you know uh, this was something which I wanted to show uh, in uh, as a data point moving forward okay now uh, this is uh, something which is interesting if you see the uh, nifty has been falling from about 22nd um, October and uh, you can say it's going sideways, but if you look at the trend line, if you draw a trend line, it's going down actually. If you don't know what a trend line is, it's, it's just look at it and you can see that from peak, it has fallen a lot, right? So now if I ask you a question that there were, uh, so there were actually a lot of news which were moving around um, uh, uh, from October onwards that the RBI has, you know, high interest, uh, interest rates, and um, there were uh, inflation that inflation touches to around 6.3%, uh, vis a vis 5.5%, uh, uh, which was there before. Then there was U uh, Russia uh, Ukraine war that started in on 24th Feb. So you see that the, uh, the market, the whole market itself was uh, started correcting. I wouldn't say started crashing, but it started correcting, where it made a high of around 18,800. And now uh, made a uh, made a bottom of around fifteen thousand uh, five hundred, if I'm not wrong. And then now it's trading at around fifteen thousand eight hundred. So, guys, is this a systematic or an unsystematic kind of a risk if I invest in uh, by using this uh, data? Systematic. Systematic, correct. Okay. So 
uh, okay so now you understand what a systematic and uh, unsystematic kind of uh, risk is uh, tomorrow we'll cover uh, investment strategies based upon the risks that we discussed how can we leverage these uh, risks associated with the market? I gave you a flavor uh, with uh, steel industries, but we'll go uh, in depth with how we can uh, leverage these kind of risks in the market for our benefit and gain uh, profit out of this. So that would be in tomorrow's session. Uh, so uh, meet you guys tomorrow. Uh, any questions, concerns, uh, anything which was not clear? I hope it was not very technical. I tried to uh, make it at a very high level so that we understand the concept and then we can implement in the market to generate profits. Questions, people? Questions, comments, thoughts? Uh, no question. Like, uh, just the feedback. Like, when we are asking questions uh, and people are giving answers, so maybe we can just ask why so that uh, those people who don't know the answer can get to know why that answer is uh, why the, why that the question of the answer is, is that sorry i didn't get it Achha, why is it a systematic or unsystematic yeah like so for those who don't know the answer like uh, uh in one uh, i mean one point i wish gave the answer which was correct but mm -hmm. i didn't know like why it is correct so uh, if the you know if there is an explanation like you can give the explanation of the answer yeah okay okay uh, makes sense any other feedbacks or questions concerns all right i'll take that uh, that as a no and uh, in case if you need any clarification any explanation of previous slides um, we still have time we can do that okay mm, i think it I, was a bit fast, but it was nice, like easy to grasp. Uh, okay, makes sense. All right, <laughs> thank you, everyone. Thank you for your time, and uh, I'll hopefully see you tomorrow. Thank you, Vera. Thanks. Bye. Bye.